If you guys are in need of any cheap and high quality controller grip skins or accessories, then go and check out fatalgrips.com and use the discount code e 2 at checkout for 10% off. Hey guys, e 2 a here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be bringing out another trading method and basically today's video is going to be revolving around the Euros. Now, if you guys didn't know, when a player performs very well in an international tournament, their prices on Ultimate Team will go up massively. Now, I'll show you a couple of examples. Firstly, in the World Cup Final in 2014, so on FIFA 14, Mario Goetz has scored a late winner. He put uh, Germany into the lead against um, Argentina with a couple of minutes ago, and his price went from being a couple of thousand coins to being like 50k. It went up massively, very, very quickly, and obviously if you guys buy the players when they're cheap, then you can sell them on if their prices go up a lot, and if they do score, their prices will go up massively, and you can make a lot of coins. The same happened when Godin scored in the Champions League final last year. It also happened in the Africa Cup of Nations final, I think, in 2014. Really, really big increase in price right there. Basically, what happened was that uh, Barry Copper, who is uh, the second choice Ivory Coast goalkeeper, saved a couple of penalties. Then scored the winner, and his price went from being like 200 coins. He plays in the Pro League. He's a silver player, quite low rated. His price went from being a couple of hundred coins to being like 150k. He went up so much. I was actually lucky enough to get one of those cards. I sold him on for like 90k, so I made about 80,000 coins profit. I think because I sniped one for about 10k. Uh, I made about 80,000 coins profit on one silver goalkeeper using this method back on FIFA 14. Now, there's not really been an example to show yet this year other than Iceland when they started uh, beating England once they went into the lead. Uh, I think a lot of Icelandic players did go up a lot in price, and obviously I did do a method on that a couple of days ago. Due to a tournament, the player prices went up massively. But, basically, this is going to happen in the champion... But basically, this is going to happen in the Euros. Uh, it's going to happen in the final. Might even happen in like the semi-finals too. Uh, but it will definitely go up a lot if uh, someone does score a goal in the final. Now... Let's say, for example, it's two all between Germany and whoever they're playing in the final, if they do get to the final. And Mario Gomez comes on with 10 minutes to go and scores a header to put them 3-2 into the lead. His price is going to go up massively. He's currently, let's find out what he's selling for, probably about 1,000 coins, maybe a little more because he's like one of the only German strikers. So if we just look at Mario Gomez right here, he's going for about 2k. Now, if he scores the winning goal, he will go up to his maximum price, which I think is probably about 15k instantly. He'll probably go extinct if he does score a goal. And that is because people are going to want to try him out. People are going to want to use him because there's going to be a lot of hype around him because he's just scored, obviously, what would probably be the winning goal in the final of the Euros. Now, uh, this did happen with Iceland. If you look up um, players from Iceland, I think the goalkeeper is going for like 10k, the uh, silver goalkeeper they have. If you look up Icelandic players... They're still going for a lot, like, there's no, like, really cheap ones. I don't think there'll be any for, like, 500 coins by now or so. They're, they're probably all going to be more, uh, like, for the silvers and stuff. The bronze cards, obviously, are going for, like, 200 coins. But for any silver cards and stuff like that, they're still going for a lot of coins. And that is because of all of the hype around the uh, Euros and around Iceland playing very, very well. Now, if you guys did see my video that I did do a couple of days ago, I showed that uh, some of these players were just going for an absolute load of coins i think this guy here where is the goalkeeper the silver one not the gold one the silver one right here he was going for like 10k and currently he's going for about 6,000 coins as you can see right there so he's still going for a lot of coins now if you can get a player like this when they score a goal you can make a lot of coins so what you want to do is either be watching the game on your laptop or computer and then be at your xbox or watch it on your telly uh, and then have either your laptop with a web app or the companion app on your phone to instantly buy a player if they do score. Now, there are two ways you can actually do this. Either you can kind of think who's going to score. So, for example, Mario Gomez. Let's pick up a Mario Gomez right here. Find a Mario Gomez. Just find what his lowest by now is. You could invest in a load of Mario Gomez's and you'd just be kind of predicting that he'd be the one there. We actually have managed to uh, snipe one there. He's probably going for like 2k, so that's a good deal. But basically... You could either predict that he's going to score the winner or score a goal because he's their striker. He's going to be quite likely to and pick a couple of him up. And then if he does score, you're going to be able to make a lot of coins. But that can require a bit of risk because a lot of these cards aren't going to score a goal in the final. There's only going to be like one or two that will probably end up scoring. So uh, you have to kind of have enough coins to be able to do that. Whereas if you watch it and you're quick enough, you can get the cards 
once they have scored so the second they've scored you want to try and pick pick some of their cards up so obviously you want to be watching it live you don't want to have paused the game or rewound it or anything uh, and then uh, forget to, to fast forward it if you're watching it on telly so you want to make sure that you are watching it live and as soon as someone scores a goal in the final you want to pick them up and then just wait a bit and keep an eye on their prices you just want to keep comparing the price see what they're selling for their prices will rise up and I mean I'll try and put some uh, examples on screen if I can find any on YouTube from back on FIFA 14 when this happened in the World Cup final but you literally it's just so so easy because you just have to watch the game as soon as someone scores you want to pick them up so say someone scores the winner you want to instantly buy that card if it goes to a penalty shootout you want to see who's going to be taking the penalty if there's someone who's going to be taking a penalty that has a chance of winning the game for them so if they score their team wins you want to buy them before they've even taken the penalty because if they score their price is going to go up massively because they're going to be the person who won the euros for their team they're going to be the person who scored the winning goal so that is why it works so well um just because everyone is going to want to buy that card if someone scores the winner Lots of people are going to want to try them out. They're going to go and pick them up. And it's going to make the prices go up massively, which is why this method just works so well. It's a really easy method. And as long as you've got the coins, it's fine. You just want to watch the game and then pick up some of the cards. Like You don't have to pick up loads. You can get one if you want, but you're still going to make some easy coins on that. But if you want, you can obviously get up, uh, pick up as many of those cards as you want and hopefully make as many coins as possible. Now, also, there could be tournaments. Uh, there was one for Croatia, Portugal. There was one for Iceland players. So, uh, personally, I think Germany are going to at least get to the final, I think they'll probably win. So I have previously talked about this. Not sure if I've done a video on it. I did do a stream on it. But basically, you want to pick up players in key positions. Uh, I recommend Germany. So if you look at German right backs, right here, you've basically got Diekmar as the only one. And he's going for, like, what's he going for now? He's going for um, nearly 3,000 coins. And I got all mine for, like, 1K when I did do a video on this. And a lot of my subscribers have invested in these cards. And... Um, yeah, he's going for a load of coins right now. As you can see, he's going for about 3k. So, players like Digma, if you can get them, he's the best right back by far. He's pretty much the only one. I think there's a silver one called Brasinski, wherever he is. Um, there's this guy here who's alright. But, other than him, every single right back isn't very good. Other than Brasinski and Digma, they're not very good. So they're the only uh, right backs people are going to want if there is a Germany tournament. So, if you can invest in those kind of cards, their price is going to go up massively. Sanya went up to like 6k, I think, uh, when there was a French tournament, and he was normally about 1k. So, if you can get players like uh, these players, where there aren't that many, that are like good in that position. So, for strikers for Germany, they only really have like Mario Gomez. So, if you can get Mario Gomez again, his price should go up a lot, and you should be able to make some good coins on someone like that, if there is a tournament. So, I recommend investing in kind of the key players like that. So, right backs left backs i think it was like schmelzer iogo some left backs there so get left and right backs and some strikers from germany if you can and you want to just keep hold of them now if someone like mario gomez does score in the final then obviously you sell them on you make even more coins but if there's a tournament you're also going to make coins but then watch the game if someone does score uh, you want to pick them up their price is going to rise up keep an eye on their price and once it has reached a price that you're happy to sell your card on for sell them on if the price starts dropping instantly sell it on but try and undercut a lot so it does end up selling on but hopefully we'll still be able to make some good profit but anyway definitely try this method out it's a very very effective method to try you during the euros but anyway hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video take care